invited by the minority. We welcome you here. And the first one is Barry Hart, Chief Executive Officer, Association of Missouri Electric Cooperatives. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Senator Boxer. Um, thank the committee for uh, inviting me to participate today. Proud to represent all the uh, great folks back in Missouri that uh, the Show Me State that uh, own their own electric co-ops. I do appreciate this opportunity. I want to thank Senator Bond for calling me. But I also uh, uh, want to thank our junior senator, Senator McCaskill, for what she's doing for our state. And I would be remiss if I didn't tell the governor of our state, Jay Nixon, hi from uh, the nation's capital. He's a good friend of mine. Uh, let me give you a, an idea of, of our customer mix in Missouri, who we represent and their situation. It might give you a snapshot of, of what's going on out there. Uh, presently, electric cooperatives in Missouri represent uh, 2 million people that are getting electricity from uh, 40 not-for-profit consumer-owned electric cooperatives. Uh, these consumer-owned electric cooperatives operate in the best interest of the consumer who owns them. And because we've done a good job of, like, of that over the years, we have 91% customer satisfaction ratings in our state. We're very proud of that. Let me give you a snapshot of some of our members in these uh, small rural communities in Missouri. One third of our members are 65 years of age or older. 83% of that group retired and are living on a fixed income. Half of our households in our state earn less than $40,000 a year. It's tough times for these folks. They work in ag, timber, and tourism industries. And they can't, a lot of times, pass these additional costs along. So that makes them sensitive to uh, price increases. Mm -hmm. We have a long history in our state of working for our members, bringing bring electricity to the communities, and economic development for our rural communities. We like to lead the way in rural Missouri. We'd like to continue that commitment today in working on uh, the energy issues of our, of our country and our state. We're very proud of the fact, as co-ops in Missouri, that we were the first in our state to develop large-scale wind projects. Presently, in northwest Missouri, we have 300 megawatts of wind under contract, and our communities are supporting those projects. We're also uh, investing in efficiency for our members. We've, we've dedicated $31 million of co-op member money towards Energy Star appliances, energy audits, ground source heat pumps, and CFLs. We're very proud of the fact that the last year we've installed 2 million CFLs in uh, our members' homes. We've also one of the first utilities in the Midwest to join the Chicago Climate Exchange, and we're trying to do something about our carbon footprint in Missouri. Our consumers started looking at this issue right after the House passed the legislation. They started, want, they started hearing about all these different studies that were done, and uh, those studies had conflicting costs associated with them. So uh, they asked us to do our own study. And uh, because our consumers asked us, we felt we better get on it. So we asked the, all the investor-owned utilities, the municipal utilities and co-ops in our state, the people that are generating electricity every day to come together and, and look at this, the Waxman-Markey bill, tell us how much it's going to cost our consumers. The results are staggering, and it got our members' attention. They're looking at 12 to 26 percent rate increases in 2012, which could go up to 50 percent under different cost scenarios. Uh, the impacts to our state are a lot larger than what a lot of people thought. We also are looking at 20 to 42 percent rate increases in 2020, and those could reach as high as 77 percent under the worst case scenario. As we review the Senate bill, and we know you've put a lot of hard work into this bill, and uh, as some of the other testifiers have said, you've tried to work on consumer protections, but this bill is not good for Missouri. I have to be honest with you. Uh, we only get under this bill 60% of the carbon credit allocations that we need. And uh, we have to pass those costs on, along to our consumers. And I agree with some of the earlier uh, testifiers. The carbon credit allocations need to benefit consumers because they're the ones that we're asking to pay the bill. Uh, we want to work with the Senate, any Senate committee, uh, any of the senators to get a bill that protects consumers 
and meets the goals of the United States of America. And we'll stand ready to work with anybody, anywhere, anytime to meet that test. Presently, we don't think the committee's bill meets that test. Uh, I'm going to take it back to our consumers in Missouri. I'm going to present it to them. And I'll get back with both of our senators and let them know what the consumers are telling, telling me back home. Thank you for the opportunity. And, uh, but I do got to have to caution you. I, I'm just afraid that if I take that 60% allocation back to our members, our consumers in our state, they're going to tell me to tell me to ask both of my senators to vote no on this bill. Thank you for the opportunity.